well youtube it's a uh, wednesday the 9th and uh it's been a while since i posted on youtube um last game i posted or last video was a madden video but today i'm gonna take you guys on my covid trip uh a covid test trip because yesterday the 8th i had a massive headache i puked pretty much not all day but i puked a few times i had the runs like crazy um and this morning i woke up with a headache again uh when i was in bed last night i had like hot and cold chills one second i was too hot and then in another second i was cold i went to bed at nine o'clock last night and i don't go to bed early bro i, I usually stay up till 1 12 o'clock in the morning and then wake up for school and do that and then do work and go to work and <clears throat> so i have a test at 5 40 tonight uh this is gonna be interesting so and i'm gonna take you guys along and yeah so uh this sucks so i am uh, currently just laying here my fucking head is on one it feels like somebody fucking slammed my head into the fucking wall for the past night I've taken three ibuprofen. I took three yesterday before I went to work. When I went to work yesterday, so I took three before I went to work. I took three before I went to bed, and I woke up this morning with the aching headache. I wasn't gonna take any until my fucking body was like, "Bro, go take some. Your fucking head hurts," and now the fucking headache's coming back. So, in a span of maybe three hours of the headache being away, it's back. Well, it's coming back. So that's not that that's unlikely of me and my body. And I get headaches pretty often and it's a lot of it has to do because of concussions I've had in the past. But it's two twenty three and my head's starting to fucking hurt again. So uh this doctor's appointment can't come any sooner and I hopefully I get my results tonight. Because I, I don't really want to wait. I I, I want to know if I have this stupid shit. Oh, here goes nothing. Uh, it is like 440. The place is like 30 minutes away. And of course it's rush hour. So got to be there before 5 o'clock. Well, before 540. Got my water. And all that good stuff. Um, I've, uh, I've played a little bit of games throughout the hours my head is still hurting really bad like the back of my head's hurting now i still have my taste i can still smell i haven't puked today but i puked yesterday i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a common flu but since we have a lot of people in the house I'd be safe and sorry. I feel kind of dizzy, which is kind of st stupid of me driving, but I don't want anybody else to have to come with me. And if I am positive for COVID and I give it to them. So I'm being pretty stupid for driving. Yes. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. If I feel like I can't drive, I'll probably pull over and call somebody. But I doubt that will happen. So uh, let's get on the road. I'm going to drive. But that'd be longer, especially because of traffic. And uh, there's traffic in Colorado, especially on the two highways I had to fucking take to get to this fucking place. And one of the highways are the highways to the fucking airport. And that bitch is always in fucking construction. And I swear the lanes are just getting smaller and smaller. I swear I was next to, I could have fucking rolled down my window and shake somebody's hand. But uh, here we are. I got to wait until 5, like, 35 to go in. Uh, every time I changed, like, the map, my Siri was like, oh, there's a truck behind me. My Siri was like, Jesus, this woman does not know how to park. Uh, anyway, uh, every time I clicked onto the map to find where I needed to go, it told me that I need to verify that I was coming, which I haven't received an email for that. All I know is I've received an email for my, that my appointment's scheduled. 
and I could pay online or I could pay there and I'm gonna pay here and I haven't had no like verification email but I'm gonna go look for that before I have to go in there so after I'm done making this part of the video but yeah we're here and there's a lot of people here and I hope to God that the mask actually works and prevents COVID which if I have it then I'll get into that discussion later if I don't have it then right okay and if you guys are wondering how I maybe got it so a lot of people a while ago was asking what I work for I'm I'm a custodian for schools but I'm a part-time custodian and yeah go ahead shit on me whatever I'm a fucking teenager I'm a fucking senior and I need money especially for the truck I just bought and the one I'm in you know but to the point being is that the school I was at the other day three out of five temps I had to clean had COVID-19 so I wasn't in contact with anybody but there was people in the room who had it so I don't know if I got that crap and I hope I don't there's a positive and there's a negative the positive is, is oh yes I get 14 days off of work the negative is, is uh, I don't get paid for those days which suck and I need money for my truck so and plus a negative would be I have freaking COVID and I can't see any of my friends family especially during the holidays if I am if I am cleared or if I get pronounced with COVID-19 I'll still be good to go for Christmas so uh crazy it, it, this world's crazy and you know I wore my mask all the time at work and that's why I said I'll get into that discussion later but we're here I'm gonna verify the email, so uh, let's jump right into that. So I just ran inside to uh, verify that I was here because I called and they said that's what I have to do. So I ran inside really quick, verified that I was here, put my code in what I had, and that was that. So now I'm out here waiting for a phone call to see when I'll be able to get pulled back there. Um, Appointments at 540. This is why I hate doctor office offices because your appointment's never on freaking time, which is so stupid. But at the end of the day, whatever. Uh, she told me it could be sooner, but it's like 535 now. Uh, on the questioning, you know, it asked like, have I been around somebody with COVID? Which I haven't necessarily been around people with COVID, but I've been in a room full of COVID. So that... I'm going to have to explain to the doctor some of the symptoms that I have, like puking, um, uh, puking, like, uh, headaches and like having the runs were not on their like list, but it said, do you feel like any type of other sickness? And I put that, but I didn't type them in because there was no option. So with seeing that, I feel like I, I really doubt I have COVID. But COVID get hit in a lot of different ways. You can have all the symptoms. You could have some symptoms. So we'll see what happens when I go in there. My head is freaking hurting like a mother, though. The back of my head feels like somebody, like, hit me over the head with a brick. Like, it hurts so bad. And I didn't bring any ibuprofen. So I'm going to be driving home with a headache unless I pay for some stupid ibuprofen here, which... There's a lot of people in that place, in, in the clinic, but the clinic is attached to a King Supers, which is a grocery store here in Colorado. So there's a lot of people in there. And if I have this shit, I don't want to be standing around. I want to get back in my truck, go home, eat supper and hide in my room for 14 days. That's, that's the plan from uh, here on forward if I get... If I get positive, a positive result. But if they tell me I can't get my results for like two days. Then I'm calling in tomorrow from work and Friday. Just to be. Just to be. Just to be sure. Like because like not just to be sure. But just to like say if I do have it. I'm not giving it to everybody at the school I'm working at. So uh, let's see what happens. Alright guys. So I've been home for a while. Uh, my head still hurts, and, uh, <sighs> the good news is I am negative for fucking COVID, so that's great. The problem is, is that my head still hurts. Also, I took the test 
where I get my results back in 10 minutes, which I found out tonight isn't 100% accurate, 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 whatever the fuck it is. But uh, the nurse, uh, not the nurse, the, <clears throat> the doctor told me if I do not feel well or if like another symptom of COVID pops up to go back and get another test, which we waited like 15 minutes waiting for the results and it came back negative. My only problem is, is that I cannot get rid of this stupid headache. It's been bothering me pretty much all day. I went out and got a Gatorade to see if that would work, which I feel like it has a little bit because my head don't hurt as much. But it is 9.13. I'm freaking tired. I just, you know, I, I'm happy it's not COVID, but it's like a flu pretty much, she told me. But it could, she said if it gets worse, to maybe come back. And also, the testing is booty cheeks. I got mine where they used like a nose swab. Oh, uh, goddamn, did it hurt on my right nostrils. But besides that, I'm good. Uh, depending on how I feel tomorrow, I'll see if I go to work. If I have my headache like I do now, I'm not going. But if I feel fine, then I'm going because I need money, like I said earlier in the video. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, this was my COVID testing day.